Okay, so my name is Kendra Kuhn, and I'm here to talk about BlockGuard, which is an adaptive blockchain uh, algorithm. So we work with obviously blockchain, which is a distributed ledger, um, and it has several points that make it attractive. Um, chief among them is that it can securely record transactions without some central authority attached to it. Um, and this security is ensured by the majority of peers working in the peer-to-peer -peer network being honest um, and not having any kind of faults or crashing. The cons to this kind of system though is poor performance, um, is that there's low throughput and high waiting times on transaction confirmation. So these two things kind of feed into each other. So the more secure your blockchain is implies that you have more peers working together in your peer-to-peer -peer network, which implies that you're gonna have higher latency um, and poor throughput as you increase your security. So there's this trade-off. You can have a very insecure system that's very quick or a very secure system that's very slow. So we present BlockGuard, which offers a solution to adaptively choose the size of uh, your consensus committee, which is the kind of bottleneck for this um, in order to alleviate this issue. So some notation, uh, first off, we consider Byzantine faults. So peers are either honest or Byzantine. And then we consider two classifications for a consensus algorithm. Uh, there's classic and then proof of work. Classic is PBFT, which is semi-synchronous or SBFT, which is fully synchronous. While proof of work, um, as I'm sure many of you are familiar with, this is asynchronous. And then we also introduce two terms, which is a group and a committee. A group is a set of peers that's responsible for maintaining a blockchain. So in Bitcoin, every peer is a part of the same group. And then a committee is a set of peers that are running a consensus in order to actually confirm or add a transaction to this blockchain. Now this committee could be composed of multiple groups or it could be composed of a subset of peers out of a group, but they, so they're not necessarily the same thing. So we introduce uh, two different <clears throat> algorithms for this, this composite and dynamic. Composite divides all of the peers in the system into multiple groups and each group has its own blockchain that it's responsible for maintaining. Then when transactions come in, these groups are joined together to form committees of varying size, depending on the transaction security level. So the higher the security level, the more groups are combined in order to perform consensus to confirm that transaction. The lower the security level, the less groups are combined. Um, composite is also asynchronous because these groups um, each have their own blockchains and they're uh, maintaining their own ledgers. They don't have to wait for other groups to finish their consensuses or to be uh, uh, other groups outside of their committee to be freed up in order to record those transactions when they have completed their consensus. Um, on the other side, we have dynamic where all the peers are part of a single group. So there's one ledger that they're committing transactions to. And then we combined individual peers in order to form committees. So instead of the security level being expressed as a number of groups that are of fixed size, it's just expressed as a total number of peers for the committee. Oh. And then again, the committee size is based on the transaction security level. So higher security level, more peers, a lower security level, less peers. This system is however synchronous because they're all working on the same ledger. We have to make sure that all of these committees that are working in parallel right at the same time. That way they all have an updated view um, come the next transaction. And then we evaluate these two algorithm or the, we evaluate block art, both composite and dynamic in an abstract simulation where the uh, computation is simulated as a sequence of rounds. Each, rounds. each round has three phases. In the first phase, a peer receives messages. Uh, the second phase, they can perform local computation uh, so for proof of work, this may be attempting to mine. For PBFT, this may be inspecting the messages that they've received as well as the messages they've received in the past to see whether they should move to the next phase of that algorithm. And then the last 
phase of a round is to send a message. So this is where the peers can actually send out messages to other peers in the system. The channels are FIFO and messages have a random delay between one and some specified uh, max delay. In addition to that, for each one of the experiments, like less stated otherwise, the number of Byzantine peers in our system is about a tenth of the network. So peers are either, um, again, either honest or Byzantine. Uh, the Byzantine peers are always trying to commit fraudulent transactions. That's their goal in the system is to just get a committee to commit a transaction that it shouldn't. Um, and then our committees are thereby either reliable or defeated. A reliable committee is a committee where the Byzantine peers does not exceed a certain tolerance for its consensus algorithm. For example, PBFT is known to tolerate up to a third. So if the number of Byzantine peers in the committee goes above a third of the total number of peers in the committee, then we count that committee as defeated and it will commit a fraudulent transaction. Um, for proof of work and SBFT, it is 50%. So half the peers have to be, half plus one have to be um, Byzantine in order to commit a fraudulent transaction. So the first set of results that we have is delay versus throughput. And throughput is transactions per round. So as we can see, as delay increases, um, our throughput decreases. SBFT is the most affected in both cases, and that's because this consensus algorithm is synchronous. Um, and then dynamic is more affected. You see this larger spread of the um, different consensus algorithms in their throughput because dynamic is uh, synchronous in itself. So each committee has to wait for the slowest committee before it can proceed. We see that PBFT um, is okay. It's not as affected by the delay um, in composite, it's very comparable to proof of work. And then for dynamic, again, because this is a synchronous system, we see this nice spread. And so we see that obviously proof of work is the, the fastest of the, all of them because it's asynchronous and the underlying consensus. Then we vary the Byzantine fraction versus throughput. And as you can see, as the Byzantine fraction of the network increases, our throughput decreases. Now it's um, noteworthy here that we do not count fraudulent transactions as throughput. So obviously as we approach 50% of the network being Byzantine, um, the number of transactions that are being committed are fraudulent and so our throughput just drives down. Um, PBFT takes dips down the, the quickest and um, this is because it has the lowest tolerance. It's only toler tolerable to a third, while SBFT and proof of work are both tolerable to a half. And so they, um, can s their throughput is less affected by the increase in Byzantine peers in the system. Um, for dynamic, we can see that because again, it's synchronous, there's some uh, uh, spread on these different consensus algorithms. Um, but again, proof of work is the least affected by it. Um, SBFT here is shown to have the lowest throughput. Um, and this is just from a combination of SBFT being synchronous and then dy dynamic block art also running synchronously and waiting for all of these consensuses to finish before it continues. Um, yes. So here we have waiting time versus delay. So as we can see, as we increase delay, the waiting time very intuitively goes up. And again, we see this nice spread in dynamic because of the uh, synchrony of the system. We see that uh, the waiting time is spread. Proof of work is the fastest, PBFT followed behind, and then last is uh, SPFT with the highest waiting time. So our next results here is the Byzantine fraction versus our waiting time. And as we can see in composite, we see a spike in the waiting time and then it goes down. Um, this is actually, this spike is where we have the most amount of setbacks due to Byzantine peers. So for example, in PBFT, when a Byzantine peer um, is in an honest committee, 
but it is the leader, then you have to do something called a view change. And so this sets the whole algorithm back. Um, and each one of these consensus algorithms have some similar feature to this, where if the Byzantine peers can essentially slow down the consensus from it. Um, PBFT, you see that spike right around a third because that's a tolerance. And then proof of work, you actually see it just before a half. And then after a half, it tails off because now it becomes very likely that the committee is um, dishonest and is just committing fraudulent transactions. Um, SPFT, you see a much uh, subtler peak. And this is because it is synchronous. So its waiting time is already higher than the others. Um, and so the, the change in waiting time is less noticeable. Um, for dynamic, we kind of see this same thing happening where it dives down as the Byzantine fraction increases. Um, and again, this is because as that Byzantine fraction increases, the waiting time drops because now they're just committing fraudulent transactions. Um, but it does kind of tend upward um, as it approaches their respective tolerances. Um, SPFT is the least noticeable. Again, um, now it's hiding it even more because not only is, uh, I'm sorry, SPFT is the least noticeable um, because it's synchronous. And again, working inside of a synchronous system, the delay is already so high that this peak is kind of hidden. So our results analysis was that proof of work was the most affected by Byzantine peers, but it's the fastest of our, uh, of our consensus algorithms. Um, PBFT was fast in ideal conditions, but it can be slowed down greatly by Byzantine peers, um, and it was the least secure. And then SPFT had the worst performance, but it was the least affected by the Byzantine peers in the system. Um, composite has the best performance or the better performance of the two, um, but it's less secure, while dynamic is more secure, but has worse performance. So there's a trade-off between these two um, kind of versions of Blockart between composite and dynamic. 